Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for clicking on 5 News Web News. It is Friday, February 8th. I'm Matt Heckel, and here are some of the top stories we've been following here on 5 News today. A man police think is connected to three execution-style murders in Marion County almost 40 years ago has finally been caught. According to the Associated Press, 59-year-old Eddie Jack Washington was arrested yesterday without incident all the way in Tampa, Florida. Officers followed Washington from his Tampa home to a grocery store where he was arrested. Mm -hmm. Washington was taken to the Tampa Police Department for further questioning. He was being held without bond at the Hillsborough County Jail. Jail records didn't indicate whether Washington had an attorney. Police in Fairmont issued a murder warrant for his arrest on Wednesday. The U.S. Marshal statement says, says information was recently developed identifying Washington as a suspect in those slayings. The statement did not elaborate on that. Now, those three murders were committed in the Windmill Park area in August of 1974. Police in Morgantown say they found the suspect in a murder case that's been dragging out for about a year now. And it turns out he was already in jail on other charges. 25-year-old Thomas Williams is charged with the murder of 23-year-old Quinton Bolden. Bolden was reported missing back in November of 2011. His body was found two months later in Cheat Lake. Now, investigators originally talked to William shortly after Bolden went missing. But as the investigation went on, they picked out holes in his story. And now detectives think William shot and killed Bolden after they got into an argument at someone's apartment. Police had already charged 26-year-old Kevin Jackson for apparently cleaning up at the blood after the murder. He also supposedly knew where the body was but didn't tell police. Williams was already in the North Central Regional Jail on a federal drug conviction. And another man is facing charges this morning after an apparent stabbing in downtown Clarksburg Wednesday night. A little after 7 o'clock, 25-year-old Brian Winder got into an argument with his wife on Pike Street when she supposedly tried to get in a cab to get away from him. Police say that's when Winder stabbed her in the right thigh with a kitchen knife. She was taken to UHC and is expected to be okay. Winder was found on Trader's Alley about 10 minutes later. He also had to be taken to the hospital after cutting his own wrist. The Clarksburg Police Department is investigating. Well, yesterday we told you that investigators had released the name of the man they found dead near WVU's campus Wednesday. We've checked in with those same investigators and they told us that there is no new updates to that case just yet. On Wednesday, officers responded to a reported medical emergency near the Caperton Trail. That's behind Stansbury Hall. That's where they found the body of 43-year-old Barry Price. Now, we don't know if foul play was involved, and we won't know how he died until the medical examiner's office finishes their investigation. If you know anything about it, though, you're asked to call the Morgantown Police Department. Their number on your screen, 284-7522. Well, 90-plus packets of bath salts, two cars, and $50,000 in cash. That's what the Harrison County Sheriff's Department Street Crimes and Drug Unit seized during what's being called a huge arrest at a local hotel this week. A lengthy investigation came to a head Wednesday when an undercover officer found Larry T. Gregory II of Shinston in a local hotel room. Sheriff Albert Morano said the department had been getting some calls about Gregory for some time. When they found him, they arrested him on a capius he had from a prior weapons charge. They then got a search warrant. Now, between the hotel and two cars, they found the drugs, thousands in cash, and a gun. Gregory admitted he had gone to Ohio at least four times to buy bath salts to sell here in the Mountain State. We've received a lot of complaints about this particular subject. Uh, I do consider him a major drug dealer in Harrison County, in the Harrison County area, and I consider this a major bust in Harrison County. Now, prosecuting attorney Joe Schaefer said this arrest and seizure should show people the importance of the Harrison County Streets Crimes and Drug Unit. They've been on the ground on a daily basis, a nightly basis, putting in a lot of effort, and I'm very, uh, very ecstatic. Now, in the end, everything seized totaled to about $100,000. And let's take a quick look at what our newsroom's working on for tonight. First up, a new study on baby boomers show they're unhealthier than their parents. We asked experts why. Plus, a local murder case finally solved how police figured it out. And a historic nor'easter is moving in. But will we here in the Mountain State be affected? Chief Meteorologist Ken Meehan is going to have a look at your first alert forecast. That is tonight on First at 5 and 5 News at 6. And that's what's making news today. Of course, again, be sure to tune in tonight at first at five and five news at six for the latest news and weather updates. Until then, make it a great weekend.